Yeah. 
is the one that surrendered his life. Hallelujah. He was crucified on a tree that he created with great love for man. Hallelujah. God stayed with his plan all the way through. Hallelujah. Until he said it is finished. And then it continued. Praise the Lord. For he rose again. Amen. On the third day. And I'm so grateful for that. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. Thank the Lord. I can start preaching right now, but Brother Tommy, you may as well come on up here and <laughs> give you an opportunity to give it to the Lord this morning. The Bible says, He will bless you, press down, shaken together, and running over. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. That's not why I give, but it's one of the benefits of giving. Yes. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you so much for you being such gracious and kind to us and merciful. Thank you, Lord, that we can honor you and bless your mighty, precious name by giving unto you, Lord God, with these tithes and offerings. Help us to allow you to be king of it all, Lord God, Lord over it all, because you are Lord. And we thank you that you provide for all our needs. And we're saying you're our provider. We know you're going to bless us, Lord God, but help us also to be a blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you would be turning in your Bibles to Luke chapter 19. We've been praying, uh, I've messaged some of you, but we've been praying uh, for Brother Pentecost and his family, his brother that he told us about last Sunday did pass away and uh, his service was yesterday and they're on their way back now. But uh, I thank the Lord, as, as Brother Shane said, that was was a life well spent, you know, uh, to have served the Lord all of those years, you know, into your 90s. And God is good. Amen. Amen. He is good. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to be able to say that. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. We pray for others that are sick. Um, some of the, our Fort Wayne Church family uh, um, are sick, non non COVID, but uh, sick and uh, in body. And with this weather changing the way that it is, it's easy to get sick if you're not careful. So, beginning at Luke chapter 19, verse 28. And when he had thus spoken, he went before ascending up to Jerusalem. And it came to pass when he was come nigh unto Bethpage and Bethany. At the mount called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go ye into the village over against you, in the which at your entering you shall find a colt tied, whereon yet never a man said, Loose him, and bring him hither. And if any man ask you, Why do you loose him? Thus shall you say unto him, Because the Lord hath need of him. And verse 32, and they, they that were sent went their way and found even as he had said unto them. And as they were loosing the colt, the owners thereof said unto them, why loose ye the colt? And they said, the Lord has need of him. And they brought him to Jesus and they cast their garments upon the colt and they sat Jesus thereon. And when he went, they spread their clothes in the way. And when he was come nigh, even now at the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen, saying, Blessed be the King that cometh in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees uh, from among the multitude said unto him, Master, Rebuke thy disciples. And he answered and said unto them, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. Hallelujah. That's Luke's writings about Palm Sunday. It really begins what is called Holy Week. Uh, Christians all around the world begin to celebrate the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. It's called the Gospel. Amen. of Jesus Christ. It's called Passion Week. A few years back, you might remember that uh, Mel Gibson uh, uh, filmed this crucifixion moment and he called it the Passion of the Christ. And 
It really was Jesus' passion yes. to go through that whole scenario that he went through. And for a reason, and that reason is you and I, hallelujah, and those that are sitting around you, and those that are not here yet, you know, in this house of God, hallelujah. And, and uh, you know, it, it's really, you know, it is the, the beginning of the end of Jesus' earthly ministry. It begins to unfold the reason why that he came in the first place. And on Palm Sunday, he would ride into the city from the east side of the city, and he would begin to hear these chants like we read, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hosanna, yeah. blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Folks, every one of you that came today, you are going to be blessed this week. Hallelujah. Because the scripture does not go void. Hallelujah. God means what he says. Blessed is he Amen. who comes in the name of the Amen. Lord. Amen. Praise God. Praise Amen. God. In honor of this noble king who was riding among them. They began to lay down their garments. They would take their coats off, uh, uh, whatever they could, and they they lined the pathway, the roadway, you know, where he was coming into to Jerusalem. And they they took palm branches and they they spread them out all over the path, you know, uh, for him to walk upon, for the colt to walk upon. And palm branches was a sign of peace yes. and victory. For a triumphant king. Is Jesus your triumphant king this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, And they cut down those palm branches. And they began to wave them. As he came into town. As he began to pass by them. You know. And, and they were honoring King Jesus. Hallelujah. You know. Uh, and. And. Uh, hallelujah. They were heralding. The triumphant entry. Into Jerusalem. Because. He was about to once again claim victory over death, hell, and the grave. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank the Lord for mankind Lord. once and for all. Hallelujah. Amen. That excites me. I don't know about you, but that just excites me. Uh, you know, in this moment, Jesus, he begins to unfold the reason why that he came. And, and his first order of business was to go and to cleanse the temple. I'm a believer that God's temple needs to be cleansed. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, it needs to be nice just like our homes are nice. Hallelujah. You know, that we need to take care of it. You know, not for us so that we look good, but the presence of the Lord is coming. Hallelujah. And we want God to be glorified with our very best. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Not, not take shortcuts here and there, but give God your very best. That's what God wants from every one of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matter of fact, he, 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 he demands our very best. Amen. He demands our very best. So his first business was to cleanse the temple. And then on Thursday of this week, he would hold what we know as the famous Last Supper with his disciples. And, and it was on this same night that Judas betrayed Jesus, would betray Jesus and turn him over uh, to the high priest. And, and on Friday, he would begin to suffering. You know, this road of suffering that he was on called the Via Della Rosa, where he was beaten, he was scourged, he, uh, and then he would die on Calvary's cross. Not much is mentioned about Saturday. But Saturday is the day that Jesus takes a victory lap. Hallelujah. Through hell. Praise God. You know, and takes the keys from Satan to death, hell, and the grave. And it has no hold on you just like it had no hold on him. Hallelujah. Because Jesus arose, we can rise again. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Praise God. And on Sunday, hopefully we all know what happened on Sunday. Amen. On Sunday, he shouted out. He arose. Hallelujah. He arose. Christ arose. Praise God. To live forevermore. Forevermore. Death couldn't hold him. Praise God. 
I want that to sink into your spirit this morning. This is the beginning of Holy Week, and today is what's going to lead you into your Holy Week. Praise the Lord. I have been praying, and I've been interceding, and for everyone that is here, everyone that comes to this church, and I've just been talking to the Lord, and I've just been asking Him, God, make today, make Palm Sunday the day that will usher us into a week of being in the Holy Presence of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. If you're a young person, if you're a questioning adult, trying to understand this whole faith thing, if you're investigating whether Jesus is really worth following or not, like everybody's saying, let me remind you something that is very, very important. One of the unique aspects of Christianity compared to other faith movement, movements in the world, is that Christianity traces its origin all the way back to one particular event, one moment, one day in history, and that day is the resurrection day of Jesus Christ. Because he arose, hallelujah. No other God, hallelujah, rose from divine hell and the grave, you know, and rose out of the grave. Praise the Lord. God. Why? Why would you take Jesus serious? Why bother writing down all of these events if Jesus was just a man? Right. You know? Why have people over the last 2,000 years been willing to give all and, and surrender all and sacrifice all, you know, including the same ones that watched Jesus die on the cross? Yes. There must have been something more about this man. Something more than, than all of his teachings and his miracles or him just being a good person, you know, a good moral person, you know. Amen. Why? Why believe in Jesus at such a risk to yourself, you know? Why did they, against all odds, come to change their entire religion uh, that was on the world in that day? You know, this, this was different. This, this, this caused an uproar in the religious community when Jesus came as king of the Jews, you know, and and uh, why? Why would they follow a Galilean preacher, you know, a carpenter, and almost overnight it seemed like, you know, why would they worship him, come to worship him, and, and suffer, some of them, so many awful things, you know, for the sake of the cross. Hallelujah. The answer, it couldn't just be his death. Other people had died, you know, on crosses as well. Amen. You know, even other people that had claimed to be the Savior, you know, it had to be something more. What was it? It was the resurrection. Yes. He arose. Christ arose. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, he did. Uh, glory to God. I love what Tim Keller, who was an American theologian said, he said, Jesus simply cannot be just light. Either you will kill him or you will crown him. That's how it was on the day that Jesus was walking into Jerusalem, riding into Jerusalem, hallelujah, that he went up the road, the Via Della Rosa carrying the cross. Either there were people that were, were crowning him, you know, as their king, or there were people that were throwing, yeah. you know, and, and whipping and, and, and causing harm and killing him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Jesus simply cannot be like you either kill him or you crown him in your yeah. life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's what. Either they were with the, the part of the group that killed him. Or they were with the part of the group that crowned him. King of kings. Thank Hallelujah. You. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I thank the Lord. He is my king. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He is my king. Amen. For most of his ministry, he, he urged, Jesus urged people to be quiet about who he was. When he healed, he told people, don't say anything. You know, when he confronted demons that recognized that he was the son of God, you know, uh, uh, he commanded them to be quiet, you know. And that's because 
It wasn't his time yet for it to be declared that he was, in fact, the Messiah. But on Palm Sunday, hallelujah, it was time to begin to worship and magnify Jesus, hallelujah, you know, and praise Jesus for who he was, you know, and, and uh, uh, in fact, Luke, he wrote it like this, and I read it earlier in our text in verse 37, he said, when he was come nigh, even now at the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of disciples began rejoicing and praising God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen, saying, Blessed be the king that comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Yes. And some of the Philistines from among them said, Master, teach, which means teacher, rebuke thy disciples. Well, they, this was blasphemous, you know? They, they, they shouldn't have been able to say something like that. It was wrong, you know? They shouldn't worship you like this, they're saying. You know, these people shouldn't worship you like this. It's not the right way. It hasn't been done this way before. They're singing a new song we haven't ever sung before, you know? And, and uh, you know, and, but then Jesus, you know, he, he said this very famous statement. He said, I tell you that if these should hold their peace that the stones, the rocks will cry out, hallelujah, and praise me, hallelujah. Amen. Thank the Lord, thank the Lord, and worship me. Something shifted in the atmosphere in that day on Palm Sunday. Something began to change all around the, the ministry of Jesus Christ and the life of who, who he was, you know, because praise is important when Jesus is your king. Amen. Amen. I said praise is important when Jesus is your king. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible continually reminds us that we need to sing unto the Lord a new song. You know, it reminds us to make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye people. Hallelujah. It says, let everything that has breath Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It says things like, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can I remind you this morning that wherever you are in your walk with Jesus, it's okay to praise the Lord. It's okay. It's appropriate to praise the Lord, to praise your King. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. You have a right to raise your hand Amen. to the king of kings. You have a right to, to wave your flag. Joy is a flag flown high. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Glory to God. I know for some that might be weird. It might be awkward. Or you might be thinking, well, Pastor, I'm, I'm just... I'm just not a flag waving type of person, you know. Uh, I'm not loud. I, I'm just not going to hop out in the aisle, you know. But I'm telling you this morning, we are called to worship the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. It may not be who we were, hallelujah, but when we were born again, praise God, we should have a praise in our heart, you know, a joy, you know, a pep in our step, an excitement in who we are, because now I'm a child of the King, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. When Jesus is your king, you are commanded to worship. There's an obligation on our part to magnify Jesus. Amen. Magnify him for who he is because he is worthy to be praised. Amen. Anybody here feel like he is worthy to be praised this morning? Give him a praise right now. Hallelujah. Give him a praise. Put those palms up. Hallelujah. And give him a praise this morning. Glory to God, glory to God. Yes, we love you, Lord. Palm Sunday tells us something. Thank you, dear God. That praise is no longer an option. Amen. We must praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. It, it, you know, I mean, that, that's why that I, I ask us, you know, to lift our hearts and our hands and our voices to the Lord all the time because it's not optional. We need to praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and we need to praise him in all situations. Amen. 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 Yes. Thank you. Oh, Lord, Thank you, Lord. 
Bless the Lord, praise God, Holy Father. He's not worthy of uh, simply just singing a song. Mm -hmm. He said, I want you to worship me in spirit yes. and in truth. Amen. I want you to worship me with your spirit, not just your voice, with your heart. Hallelujah. I want it to come alive in you and become a, 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 an aroma, hallelujah, that lifts up, hallelujah, that to the Lord. Praise God. Glory to God. He's not worthy of us just simply singing, but he's worthy of our very best. Worship, hallelujah. He's worthy of all of the honor and all the praise like we sang last Sunday. You know, and, and, and that's not, if you if you feel like you, you can worship him with all the honor and all the praise, you know, uh, uh, you know, or, or if it fits into your character, you know, or, or I just wasn't raised that way, you know, he changed every one of us. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Hallelujah. And he changed us so we wouldn't be like the world. Amen. You know, that we would be a people of liberty. Hallelujah. You know, unhindered worship to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, it's a command for all of us that recognize Jesus as Lord of all. Amen. Lord of all. And we begin to bless his holy name. If you have a hard time knowing what to say to worship the Lord or what words to use or to, what to declare, why not use what they did on Palm Sunday? Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to the King. Hallelujah. It's not that hard to worship and praise the Lord. He laid it all out for us exactly how to do it. You know, the words to use. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And they begin to say peace in heaven and glory in the highest. That's what they used to say. You know, that's what they said in the Bible days. That's the words that came from their spirit. Hallelujah. When they were in the presence of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. I would like for you to just close your eyes right now. And just lift, lift your, your, your hands and just begin to say that. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Say it, say it. Say it, say it, say it. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And if you say that and you say it from your heart and not because pastor is telling you to, you will begin to feel the presence of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. When you begin to praise the Lord, when you begin to lift up your voice to God, environments begin to change around you. The atmosphere begins to change around you when you begin to bless God and, and praise His holy name. Hallelujah. Mindsets are removed. Old thinking. Hallelujah. Fear begins to leave in Jesus' name. And hope begins to rise. Hallelujah. Begins to rise. Hallelujah. Because you can say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Come unto me, Lord. Come unto me, Lord. Demons flee. Depression begins to walk out of our lives. Hallelujah. The more we praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's something about your very voice and your heart beginning to praise your king. Hallelujah. That begins to shift things in the spirit realm Amen. and begins to walk us into the eternal realm. Yes. Hallelujah. And begins to call forth the very powers of heaven. Yes. Hallelujah. Into our situation, Sister Rhonda. Yes. Oh, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's what praise does. That's what praise does. Glory to God. You know, that's what that's why the enemy wants to keep us quiet. You know, wants to keep us quiet, wants to wants us to keep it down, you know. Uh, but we're Pentecostals. We get, we get loud. It's okay. Hallelujah. Used to be anyway. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. There we go. There we go. Hallelujah. The enemy doesn't want you to lift your voice. Because victory has a sound. But defeat has a look. I said victory has a sound. But defeat has a look. You know, when you have victory, you begin to sing. You begin to praise. You begin to lift your voice. You might be dancing, hallelujah. You know, uh, 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 glorifying God, magnifying Jesus, praise God. I hope you're feeling what I'm feeling here this morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can we say, you know, God, no matter what I feel like, no matter what all I've been through this week, I will praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord. Hosanna to the King of Kings. Hosanna to the King of Kings. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hallelujah. 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 When you begin to praise, a victory begins to rise up. Hallelujah. And when that praise happens, the devil has to flee. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why he don't want you to praise God. He can stay around if you don't praise God. But if you praise the Lord and lift up your voice to the King of Kings, hallelujah, he has got to flee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now you know how to get rid of the devil. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It begins to rise a victory. A strength begins to hold you up on your most holy faith. Hallelujah. And your spirit, praise God. I'm praying for you this morning. I'm praying that no matter how hard that it's been, that you begin to say, God, I'm just throwing off this garment of heaviness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. For a spirit of praise, God. I will not be heavy anymore. I will not be downhearted anymore. But the joy of the Lord is my strength. Hallelujah. I'm putting on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. I'm giving God my praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Because praise matters in this moment. Praise is not just when you feel like it. It's not just when things are going your way. When the sun is shining on you, that's not it. Can I tell you, Psalms 34 and 1 says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. Though I walk through the valley and I struggle and I, I don't know how I'm going to make it through the week, you know, and I, or I don't know how this all is going to end, the situation that I'm in, you know, I don't know what my faith is going to look like on the other side of this valley. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. But I can tell you this, when we begin to praise God in the valley, and in every situation, glory to God. Amen. You know, not just in the mountaintops, but we praise Him continually. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we give Him glory and we give Him honor and begin to honor Him. Amen. Our strength begins to rise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. His strength is made perfect in our weakness. Amen. The Word says, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And as we wait on the Lord, that anointing comes in our lives. And it overshadows us. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, to live in the anointing, under the anointing of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. That's exactly what happens when you begin to praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you just thank Jesus this morning? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Can we just praise Him for a minute right now? Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness to me, God. Thank you, Lord. I worship you for who you are. For who you are. You're the king of glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah.
This is what I know. On that day, there were two people in that audience. There were Pharisees and there were followers. There were disciples. You know, and one wanted that praise to stop. They wanted it stopped. And one began to praise. One didn't want praise and one did. Which one are you this morning? Which one are you this morning? Hallelujah. Which one are you on this Palm Sunday, the beginning of Holy Week? Are you the one that says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Is there joy coming out of your praise spirit this God. morning? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, is there a, a fresh wind of the Holy Spirit Glory blowing God. around and through us? Hallelujah. In and among us, I say, God, let your train fill this temple. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Put on the garment of praise. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God, I don't, I don't see myself as a praiser most of the time. But God, I will praise you with my whole heart. Amen. You know? For you are worthy of my praise. Hallelujah. You are worthy, Jesus. You know, in, in the darkest of yes. nights, in the most challenging of times, I yes. lift up the name of Jesus. Yes. Lift up the name of Jesus. Yes. Satan wants you to focus on the thing that has you where you are. Yeah. But if we can lift up our eyes unto the hills from which cometh our help, yeah. hallelujah, Amen. God will be glorified Amen. in your life, hallelujah. Amen. Jesus will become king of your life. Amen. Victory will come, come out of that situation. Praise oh, God. Man. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because on Palm Sunday, there's really two questions that you need to resolve. This year, and I want you to think about it and think about it from your hearts this morning. Question one Will I recognize the time of my visitation? Will I recognize the time of my visitation? Luke, he began to write down, he was a scribe, he began to write down the, the words of Jesus as he rode into Jerusalem, and it was in Jerusalem that Jesus would begin to declare uh, who he was. Jerusalem, he said, how often have I gathered you as chicks, a chicken with her chicks, you know, as a hen with her chicks, but you would not. He said, how often would I put you under my wing to protect you, uh, but you would not. How often uh, did I try to draw you closer to me, but you would not come. Yes. God help us. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. As, but as Jesus rode into Jerusalem that day, the Bible wanted you and I to know that Jesus wept. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Because he knew they didn't get it. You know, they weren't getting what he was trying so hard for them to understand. And that's what pastor is trying to do this morning is to try my best to to do that right now to get you to understand, you know, that that he is our king all the time. Amen. Hallelujah. All the time. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. You know, and, and uh, I don't want you to miss your visitation from the Lord. Yes. Praise God. Uh, Lord God. I don't want you to miss your moment with the Lord. <laughs> Luke, he writes it and he says, verse 43 for the day shall come upon thee when thy enemies shall cast a trench about thee and compass thee around and keep thee on every side. Verse 44, and shall lay thee even with the ground. <laughs> he's going to knock you flat, that's what he's saying. Amen. You know, even with the ground and, and thy children within thee and thou shalt not leave in thee one stone. They shall not leave in thee one stone upon another. And this part is scary. It says, because thou knowest not the time of thy visitation. Yes. Yes. Oh, Lord, yeah. I don't want to mess up my time with the Lord. Amen. Do you? No. Oh, Amen. No. Hallelujah. I want to be so in tune with the Holy Spirit that I do not miss him coming in. Amen. 
Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to go out of this place and 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 hear people call me up. Man, wasn't that an awesome service? And like, I felt nothing. I don't want to miss my moment with God yeah. when He, he yeah. walks by. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Our world is messed up. Yeah. Messed up. And you need to pray, and I need to pray for our leaders, hallelujah, and those that are trying to make wise decisions for our country, you know, and for our, our, our cities that we live in, you know, and, and our churches and our schools, hallelujah. You know, we need to pray for them, praise God. You know, we're, we're in a place in our lives where we've never been before. That's right. That's right. Never been before. You know, and all the time that we've been serving the Lord, we've never gone through what is happening right now in our world. Yeah. We've never seen things happen like it's happening now. Amen. And this is a moment where people begin to feel shut in, you know, and feel like, you know, that they, if they lean too much in one direction, you know, that fear is going to consume them. You know, I, I can't really think about it. You know, it's, it, it, it'll consume you, you know, and, and, uh, Feeling empty in their spirit, emotionally drowning. Anyone know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. Emotionally drowning. I'm speaking to someone this morning. Because maybe you've been worrying. Maybe the tears have been flowing across your cheeks. Because maybe you're more afraid than you want to be for all the things that are happening. But let me remind you this morning. Yes. It's in the crisis yes. that God is gathering his children together. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Gathering them together. Amen. He's not going to waste these situations that are happening. He's going to use them to draw people to him. Yes. Hallelujah. He doesn't waste it. He uses it to draw people to him. This is the time to realize that God is bigger than all my problems. Yes. Amen. Bigger than all my fears. Amen. Bigger than anything. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank you. This is, a, this is a divine moment that we're living in for the church to be the light. Amen. 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 Jesus is the light of the world. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. He is the light of the world. And if Jesus is in you, you are the light of the world also. Amen. You're supposed to reflect Jesus Christ Amen. to the world. Amen. Hallelujah. If we're not reflecting him, there's something wrong with our walk with God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's time for us, our faith to arise. Yes. You know, to rise up, hallelujah, for hope to arise and, and us to be a people that are encouragers. Not get caught up in the discouraging group, you know, that killed Jesus, but be encouragers that are excited about who they serve and not ashamed and not afraid. He said, if you be ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. Hallelujah. Amen. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and your enemies be scattered. Lift him up. Lift the name of Jesus higher. Amen. He is Lord, yes. Lord of all. Yes. Yes. None of what is happening has caught God unaware. Not at all. He, he's still on the throne. In spite of what we see, he's still on the throne. God is not out of options at this point. No. <laughs> It's in moments like this he begins to draw people to him. Amen. Yeah. So don't miss your moment. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Your moment may be this morning. Your moment may be in the middle of the week. And God begins to speak to your heart. Mm -hmm. Wherever Amen. you are. Amen. Don't Amen. miss your moment. Glory to God. Amen. He said, my sheep hear my voice and know me. Yes. Amen. Anytime, anywhere.
situations that are, are happening, situations that are on the news, situations in our lives. He's desperately trying to win the lost. Amen. Desperately trying to get them to turn to him. Hallelujah. But church, we must repent. Amen. We must repent. Hallelujah. God forgive us for not reaching out. And taking our walk with you so casual, Lord. As if it doesn't really matter. Forgive us, Lord, for entering into worship, Lord, too casual, Lord, as if it doesn't matter, God. Forgive us, Lord, for allowing it to become a ritual, Lord. God, let us be a part of the crowd, Lord, that worship you, not the crowd that kills you. Hallelujah. See, our world needs something that will turn them back to God. Amen. He said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Yes. Lift Jesus higher. Amen. How, about, how about we lift Jesus higher? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. None of us here has any Assurance that we'll be here tomorrow. That we'll be back in the house of God together next Sunday. There's not a promise for that. Today is the day of salvation. Yeah. Amen. 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 Choose you this day who you will serve. Yes. Hallelujah. Because who you serve is who you worship. Mm -hmm. Amen. And worship is not an option for a believer. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord? <laughs> oh, Lord God. He might be calling you. Amen. Don't miss your moment. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord Thank you, God. Time. This morning, I, I just want to declare revival over every one of you. Hallelujah. Praise God. I just want to declare a revival over you, Praise over your family. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. We need revival. Amen. 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 We need revival. Hallelujah. We need revival in our homes. We need revival in our cities. We need revival in the house of God. We need revival. Hallelujah. You know, in our world, in our society, on the job. Amen. Amen. There are hearts that are, are, are falling. Failing. And God is reaching out. And he's asking and he's calling. Come unto me. Amen. Come unto me. And we always renew our relationship with God, with Jesus Christ, through repentance. Amen. That's how revival begins. Amen. We re renew our relationship through repentance. And you can never bypass repentance. No. We can never skirt around it. <laughs> repentance. It's a cry. God, I'm sorry. You know, forgive me, Lord, of my sins. You know, uh, forgive me that, you know, I have forsaken you and I turned my back on you. Amen. You were there all the time. Done my own thing. Everybody here has done your own thing. Amen. Amen. At one time. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's true. We all fall short of the glory of God. Yes. Amen. Don't waste a visitation for the Lord. Yes. And as you begin to pray, you kneel down at your altar of revival and repentance. You can take a step of faith. And God will forgive you of your sins. Yes, he will. Amen. 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 He will absolutely yes. forgive you if you ask him to. Glory to God. Amen. Don't waste your visitation with the Lord. Amen. 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 Don't let him pass by and 
His presence be strong, and then you just get back to normal after today. God, change me. Yes. Change my heart, oh God. Yes. Make it ever new. Yes. Hallelujah. Let it change you so much that people don't even recognize you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Wow. I would never have thought they would be in the house of God. <laughs> Let it change you so much that people don't recognize you. Will you recognize your visitation? Will you know your visitation? The second question, how will I respond when Jesus comes riding into my life? Hallelujah. He loves you, and he always has. Amen. Amen. How about we just all come, come up and just stand around in the front here? I have a hard time getting you all to the altar, so just come up here and stand. Let's all together.